We're back now with a record number of migrants crossing into the U.S., pushing resources to the limit in many American cities. Now hospitals are sounding the alarm, saying they're also overwhelmed, including some far from the border. Julia Ainsley has our report. Tonight, the border crisis surging. Officials telling NBC News there were over 200,000 illegal crossings at the southern border last month. And a record 3 million migrants crossed the border in the last year. Now, a new warning, a thousand miles away in New York City, where officials tell us resources are overwhelmed. Across public hospitals in New York City, over the last year, nearly 30,000 visits by migrants and 300 new babies born to migrant moms. Staff here at Bellevue Hospital tell us they're eager to help, but the numbers are tough. This has been the hardest work that I've ever done, but it's been the most impactful work that I've ever done. And most of the visits to the taxpayer-funded legal clinic here are by migrants. Our clinics are full, and there are waiting lists, and people are turning people away or referring them to other places. Randy Redkin from New York's Legal Assistance Group says so many migrants are asking for legal help on asylum representation and health care access. Now, she says, American citizens who need legal assistance with issues like eviction and insurance have to wait up to 10 weeks. If you ask me, do we need more resources for legal services, I would say absolutely yes. Meanwhile, New York's governor now slamming the situation at the border. It is too open right now. Uh, people coming from all over the world are finding their way through simply saying they need asylum. And New York Mayor Eric Adams saying providing services for migrants will cost city taxpayers $12 billion. But Biden administration officials have blamed Adams' response. It is not an operationally sound effort, one senior DHS official told NBC News. Meanwhile, migrants on the streets are desperate for city help. We met Orlando, who fled violence in Venezuela. He didn't want to appear on camera telling us he slept on the street before coming to Bellevue for cancer treatment. How is that for you? given your medical condition, to be sleeping on the street. You have to make believe it's a good bed, a king size, and you lie down wherever and go to sleep, he says. Orlando tells us he came to New York because he heard about the social services the city would offer to migrants like himself, who were trying to start a new life. The Biden administration recently granted temporary legal status to nearly half a million Venezuelans, allowing them to work. Today, Governor Hochul announced there are 18,000 jobs now available to eligible migrants. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.